Um, the first question is, how do I think uh, heart preservation practice in the near future will change based on the results from the PROCEED2 clinical trial? Uh, PROCEED2 uh, compares the uh, safety and effectiveness of the organ care system with the cold standard preservation technique. The trial is designed to enroll 128 patients and randomize in a one-to-one -one fashion uh, patients uh, who are awaiting heart transplantation to organ care system versus uh, cold standard preservation. Um, although the result of the study is not um, uh, available yet, but I think that the PROCEED2 clinical trial will demonstrate that uh, organ care system is a uh, safe way to preserve donor organs and um, which with outcomes uh, very similar to standard preservation. Um, in addition, during the course of this trial, we have gained significant insight and knowledge on um, what the parameters are for us to follow to ensure that the donor organ, the donor heart organ, is working well and uh, predict and is predictive of good outcomes after heart transplantation. The um, second question was, uh, what will be the next step in heart machine perfusion to improve outcomes in patients on the waiting list for heart transplantation? I think that the organ care system is a, um, an exciting platform to not only show that the outcomes from heart transplantation can be improved upon, but um, it may be a uh, vehicle for us to expand the donor pool. Um, I believe that the, um, the organ care system can um, be used to assess um, the function of a heart that we currently consider unacceptable and uh, if it meets the criteria that we have now established as predictor of good outcomes after heart transplantation then it could potentially expand the donor pool. The way I think that this technology will transform the field of heart transplantation is that it will uh, allow us to use hearts that we currently consider unacceptable. We may be uh, placing many organs, many hearts on this uh, platform and use parameters that are predictors of which hearts will work well and uh, those hearts will then be transplanted. Hence, it will expand the donor pool and will allow us to offer this uh, life-saving therapy to many patients on the waiting list. Um, the third question was, how will the total artificial heart evolve, in my opinion, and will it ever replace the need for human donor hearts? I think that the, um, the uh, total artificial heart is a technology that will clearly have a role in management of patients in, um, with end-stage heart disease, specifically the patients who, are, who have contraindications for mechanical circulatory support, the standard LVADs, and um, will benefit from total artificial hearts. Um, in, in reference to will it ever replace the need for human hearts, I think that uh, the um, uh, human donor hearts will continue to uh, play a role in the management of many patients with end-stage heart disease um, and uh, because, they can, because heart transplantation remains the uh, current standard, the gold standard. However, with the refinements in technology, improvements in technology, I believe that the role of mechanical circulatory supports will continue to expand and this will impinge on many patients that we currently are considering not, not acceptable for heart transplantation or other forms of therapy. I believe with refinements in the uh, LVAD technology, uh, mechanical circulatory supports, uh, these patients will be uh, considered potential candidates and uh, will benefit from uh, this uh, life-saving uh, technology.